chances are that you have an old desktop computer, or maybe even a newer desktop computer, that's not getting much attention since you went wireless. Now your iPad or laptop gets all the attention. Well, dust off that old computer, because with D-Link's Extreme N Desktop PCI Express Adapter, you can make your desktop wireless, giving you greater flexibility as to where it is. So you can put it in the kitchen for an endless supply of online recipes, or in your kid's room to make homework just a little less distracting than it was when it was in the living room. Either way, Cracking open that desktop is not nearly as difficult as you think and can be done in just a couple of minutes with nothing more than a screwdriver. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at what you get in the box. Open up the package and inside you have the wireless PCI Express card. You also have a low profile bracket for small form factor PCs like many home theater PCs in addition to three antennas. Now shut down your computer, but before unplugging any cables, it might be useful to snap a quick photo to make sure that you know where all the cables plug in after you're all finished. Unplug all the cables, including the power, monitor, ethernet cable, and any USB cables you may have. On the back you'll see a handful of blank face plates where you can add PCI cards like the DWA-556. Now to open up the side panel, remove the screws. In many cases PC manufacturers have switched to easy to remove thumb screws. Slide off the panel, and let's find an available PCI Express card slot. Looking inside, you might see a couple of different sized PCI slots, but you'll notice the PCI Express slot is much shorter than the rest and looks just like this. Now to install the DWA-556, remove the blank faceplate that lines up with the PCI Express slot. We needed a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw, but many PC manufacturers have switched to the easy to remove thumb screws for this as well. Line up and slide the notched side of the DWA-556 into the PCI Express slot that we identified earlier. The connection should feel snug, but you shouldn't have to force it. Using the same screw that you removed to release the faceplate, screw in the DWA-556. This is to make sure that the card stays in place when it's moved. Put the side panel back and screw it into place with the thumb screws or any other screws that you removed earlier. Next, looking at the back, you'll see a couple of new connections where you installed the DWA-556. Take the three antennas and screw them into the three available connectors. And that's it. You've installed the DWA-556. Plug the power, monitor, and any USB cables back in. Or if you took a photo, you can use that as a reference for where the cables go. Now, turn on your computer and insert the installation CD and follow the prompts to complete the installation process. However, on many of the newer operating systems, the DWA-556 will automatically install. No further installation necessary. But to verify the installation was successful and to connect to the internet, log into your computer. Click on the Start button, right click on Computer, and click on Manage. This will bring up the Computer Management window. Click on Device Manager from the left navigation, and expand Network Adapters. If you see the DWA-556 listed, all you need to do now is to connect to your wireless network. In the taskbar on the lower right hand corner, click on the network icon and click on connect to network. This will bring up a list of all wireless signals in your area. Highlight yours and click connect. If your wireless router supports WPS, Wi-Fi protected setup, like most D-Link routers do, you can simply press the WPS button on your router to easily connect to your wireless network. If not, you can manually enter your wireless security key. And that's it. Installing a wireless card like the DWA-556 is not nearly as difficult as you might expect. In just a few minutes, you can make your desktop wireless. No sweat. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.